Hello, welcome to Do It Yourself with Wayne. Today we're going to be repairing this CyberPower 625VA. It's a battery backup unit typically used for personal computers. Um, the reason for these things, um, you plug your PC into it, if the power goes off you've got some battery life to keep your PC running so you can save your data and then shut your PC down in an orderly fashion before it cuts off uh, because of loss of power. And these things typically work very well in you know, protecting your sensitive electronic equipment. But what happens to these things is after a couple of years, they just don't have the capacity to keep your PC running until you can do an orderly shutdown. And here, um, I don't have a PC hooked up because I don't want to be abusing my PCs, but I got this lamp hooked up to show a load. And this thing's been plugged in for a little bit. But what happens, and I'll unplug it to simulate a power failure. And that's what happens. The power doesn't fail to the lamp immediately, but it doesn't stay on long enough to do an orderly shutdown of your PC, save your data, things like that that you need to do. Uh, if they get really bad, if the lights just flicker, your PC will go down, and that's really hard on your PCs. You lose data, it can cause problems with your PCs. Um, and so that's what we're going to work on today. The reason that this happens is the batteries in these things over time just won't hold the uh, charge long enough. They just don't have the capacity to supply power to your device long enough for you to do that orderly shutdown. So you have to either buy a new one or you replace the battery in the one you got. It's a lot more cost effective to replace your battery than to buy a new one. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to show you how to open this thing up, replace the battery, and make it work. Okay, now the way I would recommend that you do this is before you start taking this thing apart, plug it in, plug something like a lamp into it to make sure it's working, then unplug the power to it, wait till the lamp dies. Uh, this helps discharge the battery that's in here and it will lessen your likelihood of getting some kind of a shock. Just a little safety thing, you don't have to do it that way, but I do recommend that just for safety. So make sure you're unplugged. Unplug your lamp or whatever you had plugged into it as a load. Turn this thing upside down. And these things will have some kind of a plate on the back. Sometimes the designs vary a little bit. But in this one, there's a screw right down in that hole right there. Got to have a Phillips screwdriver. Put it in there. Take that screw out. Now, I've got several of these things around my office. And most of them have had the batteries replaced at least two, three times, maybe more over the years because I've had these things seem like forever. I generally take that screw and throw it away. Do what you want to. If you want to put it back in there, that's fine. It doesn't matter. Uh, but it's not really that necessary. Uh, if you have trouble with the cover coming off, yeah, put the screw back. Most of the time, they'll stay on on their own. But anyway, after you take the screw out, just slide the cover over, and it'll come off like that. Right there's your battery. That's the problem. That's almost always what fails on these things is that battery just won't hold a charge after they're a few years old. Now what I would tell you to uh, caution you anyway about is after you take the cover off but before you take the battery out take a good look down in here at how the battery sits in there how the wires are routed. Uh, sometimes when you start putting this thing back together things just don't seem like they want to work right. So take a good look at it, at how the battery sits in there, and how the wires are routed. Okay? Then you pull the battery out. There's two wires. You pull both of them loose. They're just little spade lugs. A spade lug is this little thing here. It's just a flat thing that slips on the little flat thing. It's called a spade lug. Uh, but that's the battery that's giving you trouble. And like I said, over time, they just won't hold a charge, and they just don't do the job for you. Now here I got a new battery. They typically come with these little plastic pieces on the, on the spades. And uh, just pull those off. You can throw them away. You can put them on the old battery. And uh, also, uh, another note, with your old batteries, make sure you recycle those things. They are recyclable. Uh, there's some 
stuff in there that doesn't need to be in a landfill. So just, uh, you know, a tip. You know, make sure you recycle your old batteries. Okay, so now what you want to do is just take your two wires back up here. And what you'll find sometimes, and this one is like that, when I slide that spade lug on there, it doesn't fit very tight. Um, it, it fits, but, but it, it don't fit tight. And that can cause a problem as well. So what you want to do, get yourself a pair of pliers. doesn't really matter what kind. And if you look in there, uh, I don't know how well you can see that, but as the metal comes around, it comes around and rolls under to make a little clip area. Just take your pliers, and that part that rolls around looks like a little pipe or something. Just squeeze it just ever so slightly. Don't squeeze it much, or you'll have trouble getting it on here. But just a little bit, and that fits a lot snugger. I'm going to go ahead and do the other one the same way, because I noticed it was a little bit loose when I took it off. Just a little bit, not much. Slide it on there. It fits much tighter now, and a much better connection. And slide your battery back in the way it came out. This one's pretty easy. Some of them I've seen, it wasn't as easy to slide the battery back in, but this one was easy. Take your cover. You probably have to put it here and slide it in. Some of them you can put here and slide in. Like I said, there are some different designs on these things. Do that. Slide the cover on. You're good to go. Put your screw back in here if you want to. This one's a little bit loose, so I may put the screw back in later. Uh, but you do that. And you're done. You plug it in, turn it on, and it'll take this thing a while to charge up to full capacity. But right now, if you plug your light in, it's working. And uh, these batteries don't come fully charged, but they do have some charge. So right now, if I unplug this thing to simulate a power failure, I don't expect my light to cut off right away. But it won't stay on particularly long. It does take, you know, some hours for these things to fully charge. Uh, so just leave it plugged in uh, like you would normally do. And uh, it'll charge up to full charge. And your PC will be uh, protected again with a battery backup, also called a UPS, which stands for Un Uninterruptible Power Source. And um, if you don't have one of these on your PC, I strongly recommend you get one because it will help protect the electronics within your PC. And uh, it also helps you, you know, give you a chance to save your data if the power goes off. So they're really good to have. Um, so if you don't have one, get one. If you got one that's, that's failing like this, just, you know, look at your old battery. You can go online and, and order these things. They're... 20, 20, 25 dollars a piece, depending on where you get them. If you buy a new unit, you're looking at probably 50 dollars. So it's a significant savings to just buy another battery and replace it. So there you go. We fixed this Cyber Power 625 VA um, battery backup unit. Um, like I said, it's not nearly always the battery. And one thing I'd recommend is put a date either on the outside of the unit or on your battery for when you installed it. That way if you start having trouble in the future, you can look and you remind you how old that battery is. And if it's more than two years old and it doesn't seem to hold a charge like it did, just replace it. The only thing you need, fill up a screwdriver, a pair of pliers, you may not even need the pliers. That's all it takes to fix one of these things when they start failing. Um, you know, I've bought many of these things at you know places like you know, Goodwill, Habitat for Humanity, something like that. You know, you get them for a few dollars because people got rid of them because the battery was bad. You know, you spend another twenty, twenty-five dollars, you put a battery in it, maybe you got thirty, thirty-five dollars in it, but it's a fifty dollar unit if you go buy a new one. You replace the battery and typically they're good as new. Uh, but anyway, that's what Do It Yourself with Wayne is all about. It's helping you save money. So if you find this video helpful, we'd really appreciate it if you click like and subscribe to our channel. And we really hope you have a great day.